Thank you for joining this webinar. I'm Yoshino from MOM Technotrend. In this webinar, I'm introducing our product, PBCF, Propeller Boss Cap Pins. These photos are PBCF. This is the content of this webinar. At first, I'm introducing PBCF in FAQ style, company profile, and main features of PBCF. Then, I'd like to explain the recent research and development of PBCF. The first r &D is hybrid PBCF. Hybrid PBCF is a combination with duct, free fins, or radar bulb. We carried out model tests using smart wake ship and CFD investigations. Second r &D is energy saving high lift radar with bulb fins. As shown in bold letters, keywords of r and are hybrid PVCF, smart wake ship, and energy saving high lift radar. For your better understanding, I'm introducing PVCF with typical frequently asked questions and answers, altogether seven Q and A. The first question is, what's PVCF? The most suitable answer is, the best and long seller among ESD, energy saving devices in the world. We are proud of PVCF, having more than 3,500 sales record so far for 34 years since 1987. The second question is, why have PBCF survived for 34 years? It's because of continuous R&D. Every year, we have continued R&D of PBCF in order to improve energy saving effect. The third question is, is a float installation possible for PBCF? Yes, it is possible. Easy installation is one of the main characteristics of PVCF. The fourth question is, is PVCF effective with crystal fins and duct? Of course, yes. Additional energy saving effect of PVCF is 2 to 4% for crystal fins and about 3% for duct, according to our model tests. I'll explain later about these model tests. The fifth question is, is PBCF effective with radar bulb? Although many people have negative opinion, this answer is yes, it is effective. In particular, PBCF is more effective during counter steering than radar bulb because energy saving effect of radar bulb decreases during counter steering. The sixth question is, is it difficult for PVCF to be installed at the narrow space between propulsion and radar bulb? The answer is actually yes. However, we have developed PVCF with short boss cap. This PVCF can be installed for ships with narrow space between propulsion and radar bulb. The last question is, is ESD for high lift radar available? Yes, it is available. We have developed high lift radar with bulb fins having both energy saving effect and good maneuverability. Our company MOL Technotrade is 100% subsidiary of MOL. We are the only trading house in MOL group supplying varieties of marine products, such as fuel oil, ship spare parts, ballast water treatment system, and PVCF. Although our company mainly act as trading house, we are a fabulous manufacturer regarding PVCF. 
we are in charge of design, procurement, and R&D of PBCS. Next, I explain main features of PBCF. PBCF is a custom-made product being designed individually according to propeller particulars. Regarding hub vortex, improvement of energy saving effect by R&D, easy and quick installation, I'll explain later. The last main feature is no maintenance. Once PBCF is installed, no maintenance is required. In these videos, I'll explain PBCF's effect eliminating hub vortex. Without PBCF, a strong vortex is generated, as you can see in this left video. This is called hub vortex, generated by strong downward flow from propeller blades. The hub vortex results in big energy loss. With PBCF, the strong downward flow from the propeller blades is redirected by fins of PBCF. This effect eliminates the hub vortex and good energy saving effect is obtained. This photo was taken at the first dry dock of MOL operating twin screw LNG carrier without PBCF. As you can see, big damage is found after propeller boss because of hub vortex. After PBCF was retrofitted during this dry dock, no damage of the radar was reported. PBCF can be installed easily, normally in dry docks. In case of other ESDs, such as duct, fins, and radar valve, welding works are necessary for installation. However, for PBCF installation, welding works are not required. Workers just need to fit PBCF with bolts. It's very easy and completed quickly within a half day. Because of such easy installation, sometimes PBCF is installed afloat, as shown in this photo. This is an example for Aframax tanker. If the ship have monitoring system, we recommend speed and power analysis before and after a float retrofit of PBCF. As the ship hull and proper condition just before and after the retrofit is the same. The power difference between just before and after the retrofit can be regarded as energy saving effect of PBCF. We are aiming to apply this energy saving effect to light ship application and also EEX site certification in near future. In case of PBCF retrofit, improvement of 5% power and 2% speed is expected. 5% power improvement is effective to IMO's CII and 2% speed improvement corresponds to improvement of IMO's EXI and Lightship's EVDI. As I explained, PBCF survived for 34 years because of continuous R&D. From now, I'll explain the recent R&D results, mainly about hybrid PBCF using smart wake ship. You may think, what's smart wake ship? The smart wake ship is a model ship creating full-scale after wake in a cavitation tunnel. You may know full-scale wake is different from model-scale wake, like this wake dis distribution. Because of Reynolds number effect, thickness of full-scale boundary layer around hull is thicker than model-scale boundary layer. Because of this difference, full-scale after wake is more slender than model-scale after wake. 
Because of this difference of aft weight, energy saving effect of PVCF from model tests is smaller than energy saving effect obtained from C trials. In order to obtain correct energy saving effect of PVCF, full scale aft weight shall be available in model tests. That's the reason why we investigated the smart wake ship. We can evaluate energy saving effect of hybrid PVCF in a smart way using the smart wake ship. This pink hull model is a model of resistance and self propulsion tests for JVC hull, typical cape size bulk carrier. This model creates model scale aft wake. On the other hand, blue hull model is designed by repeating full-scale CFD calculations so as to create full-scale aft wake in a cavitation tunnel. Collaborating with SUNY class, we were given offset data of SUNY class duct. This is a photo of SUNY class duct model. In these tests, Propeller coefficient was obtained from thrust and torque measurements at cavitation tunnel with a smart wake ship model. Energy saving effect of PVCF was estimated as the difference of propeller coefficient between the test with and without PVCF. From these test results, energy saving effect of PVCF was about 3%. Assuming 5% energy saving effect of Sunni class duct, energy saving effect of hybrid PVCF with Sunni class duct is about 8%. Although standard energy saving effect of PVCF is 5%, 5% by PVCF plus 5% by Sunni class duct equals 8% for hybrid PVCF. This is not a simple addition. However, 3% combination effect is expected in addition to energy saving effect of the original ESD. For model tests of hybrid PVCF with free swirl fins, four free swirl fins were modeled and tested. Energy saving effect for hybrid PVCF with preswirl fins was 2 to 4%, as shown in this figure. Fin A was most effective among four preswirl fins. Assuming 4% energy saving effect of preswirl fins, energy saving effect of hybrid PVCF with preswirl fins was 6 to 8%. Before explaining energy saving effect for hybrid BBCF with radar bulb, I'll show the results in case of conventional radar. Energy saving effect is almost the same, even if counter steering was taken as shown in this figure. This is the result for conventional radar. As shown in this figure, Energy saving effect for hybrid PVCF with radar bulb differs from the effect with conventional radar. Energy saving effect of hybrid PVCF is about 0.7% at no radar angle. However, for hybrid PVCF with radar bulb, energy saving effect of the hybrid PVCF increased to more than 1% when counter steering was taken. Both PVCF and radar bulb eliminates hub vortex, resulting in energy saving effect. Although radar bulb is located just after the boss cap at no radar angle, radar bulb is no more existing just after the boss cap during counter steering. This decreases energy saving effect of the radar bulb. However, PVCF is always located at the same position despite of counter steering. Therefore, it is concluded that PVCF is more effective 
during counter steering than radar bulb. Many people think that PBCF is not effective for ships with radar bulb. However, that's not true. Hybrid PBCF with radar bulb is effective, in particular during counter steering. Many people think that it's difficult for PBCF to be installed at narrow space between propulsion and radar bulb. That's mostly true. We missed a lot of business chances for ships with radar bulb because of the narrow space. Now, we have developed PBCF with short boss cap. Boss cap length is shorter by about 30% than standard PBCF. These are summary of energy saving effect of hybrid PBCF. PBCF is still effective with combination of duct pins, radar bulb, as combinations of other ESDs. Assuming 5% energy saving effect of Shiny class duct, energy saving effect of hybrid PBCF with Shiny class duct is about 8%. And assuming 4% energy saving effect of Prince World fins, energy saving effect of hybrid PBCF with Prince World fins is 6 to 8%. Next, I'm explaining another R&D about energy saving high lift radar with bulb fins. We have developed this high lift radar keeping good maneuverability. We carried out a lot of model tests and CFD investigations for both enlarged ship and PCC type cylinder ship in order to find optimum design with parameter study on these parameters, such as reaction angle, length of high lift radar, lower end plate, diameter of radar bulb, fin angle, and fin length. Compared with conventional radar, energy saving effect was about 6.5% for enlarged ship and about 6% for cylinder ship. As the first installation, this brand new energy saving high lift radar, bulb fins, will be installed on a fuel oil supply ship. Delivery of this ship is planned in March 2022. These are conclusions of this webinar. PBCF is the best and long seller ESD since 1987 with more than 3,500 sales record. PBCF have survived for 34 years because of continuous R&D. According to the recent R&D results, energy saving effect of hybrid PBCF is about 8% for swinging class duct and 6 to 8% for principal pins. PBCF is more effective during counter steering than radar bulb. PBCF with short boss cap have been developed for ships with narrow space between propulsion and radar bulb. Energy saving high lift radar with bulb pins have been developed, keeping good maneuverability. As future task, optimization of hybrid PBCF is considered. Optimization of PBCF is made by being designed individually according to proper particulars. However, hybrid PBCF is not optimized, taking combined ESDs effect into account. In other words, hybrid PBCF shall be more effective in future. If you have any questions and inquiries, please do not hesitate to ask us. These are contact details. Thank you very much indeed for watching this webinar.